We have a brand. New York has a brand. And when people see it, it means something. You know, when we go there, it's not, Kansas doesn't have a brand. (laughs) (laughs) When you go there, okay, you're from Kansas. (laughs) No. Well, you know what? (laughs) But New York has a brand. It has a brand. This is a place where every day you wake up, uh, you could experience everything from a plane crashing into our trade center. And a slogan can make a big difference with tourism. Mr. Mayor, we've come to the end of what was a very eventful 2023, right? (laughs) So when you look at the totality of the year, if you had to describe it, and it's tough to do, in one word, what would that word be and tell me why? Uh, New York. Uh, This is a place where every day you wake up, uh, you could experience everything from a plane crashing into our trade center to a a person who's celebrating a new business that's open. Uh, This is a very, very complicated city, and that's why it's the greatest city on the globe. Mm -hmm. When you look at the, the highs and lows, right? Can you describe one high and one low for 2023? Uh, the high, um, we have more private sector jobs in the history of the city. Mm-hmm. Uh, it shows a real healthy movement towards uh, our city coming back. And the low is clearly 150,000 migrant asylum seekers uh, that really put a real bump in the road of our recovery effort in the city. I want to talk about your approval rating. Ending the year of 2023, 28%, the lowest for a mayor since the 1990s. I've heard you talk about this quite often, that you don't really look at poll numbers, right? But what do you see as the driving factor to that 28 percent? Well, I could tell you, I could have told you (laughs) that before a poll came out, because I'm in the streets, New Yorkers are angry. They're angry. At at, you or the situation? They're angry at the, just the totality of where they see this situation has brought us. And, you know, beginning of the year and even into the year, they thought this was Eric Adams uh, just opening our city up, not looking at the impact of what this crisis. And we had to do a real job of explaining to everyday New Yorkers that the federal government has abandoned uh, this important issue that's a national issue. So they're angry. And it's going to come out. I'm the mayor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? and, and so you're going to point towards the mayor. If your trains are not on time, if your trash is not picked up, if you see cuts in services. That is my role. Mm-hmm. I have to navigate us through this. You, you pledged uh, during your campaign to uh, keep New York City a sanctuary a city. Are, do you have any concern that that, that policy uh, is, 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 for, is attracting more people to the border, more people to cross the border to make that dangerous no. trip? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, this city has always been a sanctuary city, and we've always managed those who wanted to come to uh, New York City to pursue the American dream. Just over a year ago, you tweeted, quote, New York City will remain a sanctuary city under an Ad- Adams administration. What is your message to migrants arriving in the U.S.? Should they still come to New York City? Well, I think that they should come to any place in the country that they desire of their pursuit of the American dream. We need to be all universally speaking to Washington. We should not be finding ways out of, out of New York City taxpayers to pay for But would you problem. raise taxes, property taxes, for the rich? Everything is on the table. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so like, and the curveball, though, was the migrant crisis. Oh, right? curveball. That's not even a curveball. Uh, that's a brushback pitch that knocked us to the ground, but we got to get back up and knock it out of the park. Sometimes I don't understand sports references, but that's <laughs> okay. I think I got that one. You know, I failed two sergeant's exams mm-hmm. before I became a sergeant. But those who passed it before me were saluting me by the time I retired mm. as a captain. It smells like government. <laughs>